Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're recapping Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Final between the Edmonton Oilers and Florida Panthers. So we'll jump right off into it today, starting with yes, we have no face today. Unfortunately, the studio was taken over by something out of our control, so we will be here today. We'll be, of course, back for Game 5, but we will also be live for Game 5, so I would highly recommend you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you don't miss when we go live. It's going to be a great stream, so be sure to come back. But with that, we'll hop into it today talking about the game, and this was one of those games where it started off just, it could have went any way, but then, you know, time after time, we saw the Oilers slowly but surely chip away at the Florida Panthers, going as far as chasing Bobrovsky from his own net. This might be a storyline heading into Game 5 to definitely take note of, of what is going to come next. We'll start this game in the first period. This was one of those games where time after time, right, it's just difficult if you're going to be the Florida Panthers trying to close out a series on the road in Edmonton's home barn to be able to do what they did, hats off to them. They played a decent first two minutes, got find their found their way onto a power play after a knee on knee with Sam Bennett and Darnell Nurse. But sure enough, of course, what happens when you have that? You got to be able to play on the power play. Matthias Janmark with the goal, shorthanded, assisted by Connor Brown. This one was the turning point of this game. From this one on, we start, we definitely saw it. Edmonton took control of this one and did not look back. Second goal is from Adam Henrique about four minutes later. And then Tarasenko scored for the Florida Panthers a little bit after that. And this was one that, in my opinion was sort of that little bit of a pushback we were expecting from Florida, but quickly, very quickly stifled by a Dylan Holloway goal to put Edmonton up 3-1. to one. And from there on out, this game was all but over. McDavid scored, Darnell Nurse, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, uh, Dylan Holloway, and Ryan McLeod with the goals. This was a turning point. That shorthanded goal for Edmonton might just be the turning point in this series that they need to be able to win the Stanley Cup this year. It might be a little bit of a stretch, but nonetheless, an 8-1 to victory for the Edmonton Oilers over the Florida Panthers, the biggest margin ever recorded from a team facing elimination in the Stanley Cup final. So a great performance from Edmonton tonight, staying alive in this one. We'll see if they can continue their success on June 18th. That one will be something to take note of. We'll get to that in just a second. A couple other notes from today's games was the push. And this is the one that was very, very important here with Edmonton. You know, coming into an elimination game, do or die in the Stanley Cup final, it was interesting to see what they were going to be able to do. At, nonetheless, we look at a team like Edmonton, sure enough, they found their way. 8-1 to one victory in this one. Definitely something to look for if they continue that momentum into their game five and see if there's a shot on this series, you know. I like to say that this game four doesn't mean all that much. Game five is a game that you have to win if you want any shot in the series because, you know, one game isn't going to turn a cha- change a series. Two games, however, might be something interesting. So definitely stay tuned for that one. The second one is chasing Bob. Bobrovsky was chased in this game. You know, it's one of those games for him where he just couldn't quite find his groove. Something to keep note of, especially as we move along in this series to see if Bobrovsky is going to be the same goaltender he's been all playoff longs or if this was the start of the end for him. We'll see what Florida decides to do in game five. And the last one here, once again, is do or die. This is a team that is definitely do or die. You know, we keep, we kept it in, call it superstitions, call it what you will. But for the Edmonton Oilers, they're once again do or die, especially what are they going to be able to do? How are they going to be able to play? And that is going to be something to take note of as they move into Game 5. Let's talk about Game 5 now. June 18th is going to be your Game 5. As now confirmed, we will be going live for this game. So be sure to come back to the channel and come to the chat. You know, let's talk about this game live. We won't have game feed, but what we will have is live commentary and really anything that you want to talk about, NHL, IIHF, any sort of hockey-related, come with your questions, come to the chat. It's going to be a good time. But June 18th, Edmonton will return to Florida to play Game 5. This is one, once again, do-or-die game. What's going to happen in this one? It's anyone's guess. I looked once again to the star players for Edmonton to really take that next step. We'll be curious to see if Kachuk can become a factor yet again in this series. If he is able to do that, if he's able to shut that top line down for Edmonton, this series might might be all but over but nonetheless here you take a final look at the playoff bracket we'll see here three to one series lead for the Florida Panthers over the Edmonton Oilers in the Stanley Cup finals 
with game five coming on Tuesday. If we did this for the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really so you're subscribing, tell all your friends and comment down below your thoughts on game four of the Stanley Cup final. Until next time, see you.